Hello, my name is Drew Pouts. I'm a writer for the stage and for the screen. Across the course of my career, I've written more broadly than that, I suppose. I've, I've written poetry for small poetry magazines. I've written prose. I've written journalism, arts journalism, feature journalism, as well as interviews. But the majority of my writing has been stage and film writing, particularly in the past number of years. So my stage writing began when I was working collaboratively with a group doing devised work, and we shared authorship for those original plays. And, and we moved roles between working as, as writers, actors, directors, designers. And, and that led into more conventional stage writing. So my plays since then have been put on at places like the Hampstead Theatre, uh, Zoho Theatre, the National Theatre, and, and theatres beyond the UK. And my cinema writing is broken down, I guess, into two main categories. And that's work that I'm doing for myself, generating myself as a writer and director, I've made a number of short films that have played at UK festivals and international festivals. And I'm working on feature projects that I hope will be made in the very near future. And, and I also work doing adaptations for production companies. So that's turning novels into films. Uh, and that's run the gamut from psychological horror to psychological thriller to drama to straight thrillers. And that's the kind of work that I've been doing most recently. We've been asked to do a reading around family. So I've chosen a piece from a play of mine called Love the Sinner. This is a scene, it's a third scene in the play. It's between a couple, Michael and Shelley, and they want to have a child, but we discover that one of them wants it significantly less than the other. Michael has just come back from a conference in Africa, a religious conference in Africa, where we've seen him have an affair with a young male hotel porter. And, and this is a scene in which they seem to be discussing uh, having squirrels in their loft and trying to get rid of them. And, but it's actually, I think, a discussion about family. So this is scene three of the play. Michael and Shelley at home. Michael holds a Bible. Shelley. I thought they were birds. Michael. They're not birds. No, but I thought they were. I read that sparrows, well, they're not. And pigeons could actually, which are actually rats, sparrows though, and other birds could get into the soffits. Michael, exactly. But that's exactly it. No, that it wasn't such a big deal, Michael. No, some people actually encourage them. But they're not sparrows. I know, so we thought they were. I said squirrels, you said rats, or squirrels, or rats. Okay, well, squirrels. Good for you, Michael. Thank you. Why don't you put that down, Michael? Michael looks at her. He puts the Bible down. You're sweating, Michael. I'm not sweating. Okay, I'm not sweating, I was reading. Yes. So this, we skip on a little bit. They're still talking about squirrels, but they're also talking about Michael reading his Bible more at the, at the house. And so this is in the same scene a little bit later on. Shelley says to Michael, are you becoming an evangelist, Michael? What? Becoming? <laughs> no, I'm reading the Bible a little more seriously with evangelists. Well, with Christians on weekdays. Okay. Sunday isn't enough. I've always read the Bible, Shelley. I find it comforting. I'm finding it very comforting, I guess. Rereading, it gives me strength. But maybe I'm embarrassed. Really? Of people's reactions, yes. Me? Now? I don't know. People's reactions, like your reaction. I'm sorry. The thing is, you don't look comforted, Michael. No, you look distracted. Really? On edge, yes, since you've been back from Africa. Like you have to concentrate on being you, nervous. Well, we have squirrels in our attic. I mean, generally, all the time. They're in there all the time. That's why you need comfort. Everyone needs comfort, Shelley, even squirrels. 
Shelley, the people I spoke to said they can't just drop them off either. Either That's the problem. That's the big problem. They're territorial. And if you drop them off at a park or something and the others are already there, like the squirrel family in the park or what have you, they block them out and they won't even survive if you want them to. They're a family up there. I don't know. You said someone I spoke to suggested apparently they live in families. Four, five, six sometimes. Parents and babies, you mean? I don't know. They kick the father out. Really? Apparently, I don't know. Around birth. Nature. Yes, what I mean is they can't just instantly acclimatize to a new park. Don't look at me like that. You are so cold, Michael. 